Hello, Phoenix Dead TV. Yes. What? What's that you say? Felix Stowe Ferry? More aliens? They've actually altered the entrance to the river. What's going on, Chris? Shh, 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 shh. Have you seen them there yourself? On the beach? Are they there now? Who's on the phone? They are there now. Well, this is going to be the biggest story of the day. I... I'm on my way. Who was it on the phone? I didn't say. You didn't ask. Come on, let's go get some aliens. Chris, you're stupid. Pardon? It's a trap. It's got to be. Trust me. Everything will work out fine. How can you say that? We've just seen Rachel Sloan get shot. Oh, come on, Lucy. Pull yourself together. This is going to be the biggest scoop ever. Let's go get some aliens. I can't seem to get the perspective right. And I swear the bloody sandbar has changed shape again. <laughs> I'm glad you find it funny. Now too much white. Now I've made the sky too light. Be damned. Those two idiots have set up camp right in my line of vision. There's the whole beach to fish from. Am I invisible or something? No, but you're certainly a prize <sighs> Mona, Lisa. I'll go and get you a cup of coffee and see if that'll improve your temper. Here, did you hear that? Her mate's just called her Mona Lisa. Now, I don't know much about art, but she's famous, really famous. She's that artist whose paintings they hang in the loo, isn't she? Exactly. That painting must be worth a fortune. We'll nick it, first chance we get. Meantime, we'd better be nice to her. Oh, it's no use. I say, you two, would you kindly move? You're blocking my view and I'm trying to paint. Oh, we are most frightfully sorry. The last thing we would wish to do is to infringe upon the vista being captured on the canvas by such a giant of the paintbrush as yourself. Are you trying to be funny, mate? Just move. Mad as hatters, both of them. Thank you so much. Yes, that's fine. Curse, just remind me, why are we here? To sort out that nosy reporter bloke. I've put one person in hospital. This time it'll be different. Well, I should hope so. But how do we know that they'll be coming here? My anonymous phone call about the aliens eating the sandbar. Well, did they swallow it? That nosy pair of reporters did. Don't know about the aliens. Oh, you ain't a clever person, making a unanimous phone call like that. The word is anonymous. Nah. In the meantime, we've got to keep our eyes paid for that pair and pretend we're fishing. Here he is now. I can't see any aliens. Can you, Lucy? I told you it was a setup. Daft. You must be that tally chap. Felix Low TV. Uses the name Chris Hughes. I might have something for you for a price. Turn that bloody camera off. I've only got 100 quid. No, Chris, this isn't right. Shh. That'll do nicely. <laughs> Come over here. So, where are these aliens in? Aliens? Don't make me laugh. All I've got for you two are a couple of wooden boxes. Wooden boxes? Well, what's in them then? You two! Now turn round. You better do as he says. Look, Chris, it's an old bag with another old bag. 
I'm scared. Pass the bag! Get him, Chris! Well, thanks for waiting. Leave me to fend for myself, why don't you? Oh, that's it. Be selfish. Think only of yourself. Someone just tried to kill me. I can't believe you. Well, believe this. I'm getting out of here. Getting out? You can't leave. I think I know what's going on. They were at Coe's when I was buying the socks for my dad. Oh, which reminds me, I've lost one. Have you seen it, Chris? Because otherwise I've got to buy him a new pair. If you say so. And I saw the woman with the bag leaving the pier just before Rachel Sloan was shot. Don't you see? They're behind the whole thing. It all adds up. They got into the fort. We didn't. They were at the scene of the shooting and they attacked us at the ferry. Exactly. Which is why I am... I mean, we are getting out of here now. Don't be daft. No one's going to attack us here. That's it. I'm going. I'm not hanging around for some deranged psycho to turn me into a chalk outline. Chris, just, just think about it. An assassin wouldn't just knock now, would they? No? Well, what about that famous film, eh? The assassin always knocks twice. That was the postman always knocks twice. All right, but somebody died. Look, Lucy, I'd much rather be alive and wrong than dead and right. So, I'm going. Well, when you put it like that, there is a chance. Right there. Core blast me, Bert. Did you see that woman with her pram? Yeah, she were a bit of all right. If I were a year or two younger, <laughs> you'd still be old enough to be a grandpa. <laughs> I'd have picked up her litter. That were no litter. That were a sock. Then we'd better give it back again when she come out. Come in, sit down. You uh, wanted to see me, sir? Yes, Dawson. Tell me what you know about D-notices. Well, they're very rarely used, sir. They're a sort of gagging notice on all aspects of the media. And only the government can issue them. Good. Obviously you know your stuff. And what do you take to be the media? Well, books, magazines, television films, that sort of thing. Absolutely no reporting at all. Zilch. Nothing of any kind. As I say, sir, a total gag. We, alas, are not really the government. So my powers do not extend to the issuing of D-notices. So I've come up with a rather clever idea. The P-notice. The P-notice? What, what does the P stand for, sir? I anticipated that question. Fortunately, Joe Public and the press are woefully ignorant of such legal matters. It simply stands for... phony. What, well, as in sham? I like it, boss. I'm glad, because you are going to issue them. All three of them, in fact. I've been doing some careful research, and apart from this damned Hughes fellow with his camera, there are three weak spots of press coverage in this area. Oh, and they will be, sir? I've listed them in alphabetical order. The first, somebody Ashworth. Stuart Ashworth. 
He read some monthly news she'd called the town crier. Offices in Hamilton Road, I believe. I'm having the P-notices drawn up at this moment. Collect them from the guardroom on your way out. Well, that will be all, Dawson. And remember, plenty of menace.